Oh, hi. You the camera person? Come on. Come on in. Come on. myself a breakfast, get myself ready for the day. Uh, today I got grits, sometimes it's toast, sometimes it's eggs. Um, but yeah, me and the other teachers, we like to, you know, come in, sit at the breakfast table. Being a teacher here at City of Bridges is, is uh, pretty fun, actually. Uh, catch up on meeting stuff, catch up on emails, and then we like to greet the students as they come in. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Blaine. How's we have to do math today. I'm so tired. I woke up at 6.18, couldn't fall back asleep, and then I had to get up again at 7. Yes, we do have to do math today. But don't worry. It's going to be nice and easy. We're going to be doing calculus and trigonometry nope. and all these fun words nope. that you love. Nope. It's going to be great. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to be nice and easy. We're playing with triangles. We'll see. <laughs> hey, Alan. Hey, Ben. Yeah. Everything's been great. Everything's been great. There, you know, not, not, not everything's perfect. There, there are some things, but... Really messed these crits up. Oh my god. in there. Okay. Who doesn't, who takes the bag out and doesn't replace the liner? I was pretty mad. Um, I don't know if you've ever had to touch, um, grits, but they don't feel good. They're gross. Um, the bottom of the trash can, already a pretty gross place to begin with. And so I had a gross mess in a gross place. Kai. Do you know where the paper towels are? Uh, did you check the cabinets? Yeah, that's, I mean... That stove, um, above the microwave, in the fridge? Honestly, a few microwaves. Um, coffee stand, no, um, on top of the microwave, maybe? I just, like, I just... Wait, I think we're going green. We might just have the rags, I, I don't know. I don't want to do that part. That's going to be gross. I'm going to have to wash a mushy, gross rag. <laughs> Finding things is always really difficult. And so I don't know what I expected when I was trying to find paper towels to clean up the gross mess in the gross place at the bottom of the trash can. Um, but I couldn't find them. They were not on the paper towel holder where they should be. Um, and I looked around in all the cabinets. They weren't there. Um, they weren't in any of the usual places that you would expect paper towels to be. They just shoved in there. Like all, it's like some of them are damp still. This is awful. Like, I don't know who thinks that this is okay, but it's some kind of idiot. Someone, someone just took the, the bag and just, and then shoved it in there like a little kid filling a toy chest. Oh God, these kids, this place. Hey Blaine, did you check the microwave? Oh yeah, sure, Tim. Let me just check the microwave for paper towels. Of course, you know, they were in the microwave. I'm really thirsty. Might as well get some cold water from the fridge. Mmm, gluck, 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 gluck. Oh, no more water. Well, that's okay. I'll just put this empty container back in the fridge and forget about it and make it someone else's problem. Who would do such a thing? You've got to be kidding me. Who does this? Who takes 
an empty Brita pitcher and puts it back in the fridge. I'm furious. This is ridiculous. The amount of times that I say, if you use the fridge, Brita, make sure you fill it up, put it back in. I really like cold water. It's unreasonable. I don't understand who can just pour this completely empty, feel that it's empty, and be like, yeah, sure, just put it on back there, make sure that, that nothing gets refrigerated. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Is Blaine gonna say this? Yeah. All right, I mean, like, I don't wanna talk shit, you know, like, Blaine's my dude. But like, this is not exactly a tight ship we're running, right? Like, the kitchen's always a mess. Like, you just kind of know the kitchen's gonna be a mess and you kind of like roll with it or you just like don't use it. And like, I don't know, like Blaine has decided for whatever reason that the hill he's gonna die on is the Brita fridge. Like the Brita filter fridge thing, which just like, I don't know, dude, like you do you, but it just feels kind of like not that big a deal. This is the hill that I'm willing to die on. I, I feel like it's personal. I feel like they're doing it just to torture me at this point. Do you use a fridge, Britta? Is this you? Do you use it and then hey, put it back empty? Did you use the fridge, Britta, and just leave it empty? Did you put it back in there empty? Who used it? It's like leaving ice cubes in the ice cube tray. It's just like that, Moss, so who did it? I know, it's... I don't know. Someone in here has to drink water. Someone in here has to, drink water. Someone in here has to have cold water. Who did it? This is ridiculous. This is what I say every time. If you use the okay, fridge and please. you empty it, you fill yeah. it back up. You know, I could see how this could come off as dramatic, but if it wasn't something that has happened so many times to me personally, I say it, I say it, I say it, and I get ignored, and people still are just walking all over that fridge, Britta. People are taking advantage of the cold water. And, and I won't stand for it anymore. I, I, I won't stand for it. Wait, that's not a big deal, but it's not a big deal. It is a big deal, why did I say it every time? I like cold water. I don't even drink water. At that time, Tim was hydrating with a pretty frosty, cool glass of water. Definitely raises some eyebrows. Blaine, you having a good day? Other good news or announcements from anybody? Yeah, I have Blaine. one, actually. Um, so once again, Fridge Brita was left yeah. empty. Um, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but remember, if you empty the fridge, Britta, fill it back up so that other people can have cold water, whoever keeps doing this, this is your last warning. You will face the death penalty. You got a camera <laughs> But I'm definitely pretty suspicious of Tim. Something about him. He, he just always seems up to no good whenever all of these things are happening to me. Oops. It feels, you know, disrespectful and, you know, particularly when like Blaine knows that like a nice tidy room is like something that means a lot to me as a teacher. We did have to clean that up. And do you know who else wasn't a part of the cleanup? a math teacher named Blaine. Tim was a pretty upset about the room. He, he was pretty stressed out by it. I, I know Tim's a pretty organized person, and so that was definitely something that upsets Tim. Hey, Brad, do you have a sec? Yeah, sure, what's yeah. up? Yeah, so like, I wanted to run something by you, and I just, I feel like Blaine has been like, messing with me the past few weeks. Really? Like, going out of his way to like, 
do things that he knows get under my skin. Like we all know how important like clean classrooms are to me and how yeah. it like really bothers me to walk into just a mess. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he like is deliberately creating messes as he's leaving the room just because he knows it bothers me. Really? Yeah, yeah. Have you tried to talk to him about it? No, no, not really. I guess I haven't talked to him directly yet, but. I'm not trying to like disagree with you or to like gaslight you or anything, but do, did you do anything that would have upset him? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I can't really think so. Blaine, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. So, are you okay, Blaine? Like, you've been really, like, off this week? I don't... No, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. fine. Okay. The picture thing seemed to really, like, trigger you this week. I mean, this morning you announced it. Uh, it's, it, it, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, okay. So, like, I really brought you out because I wanted to ask you. I mean, I'm not, like, trying to get in the middle of things with you and Tim, but Tim came to me earlier and said that you like trashed the room what yeah tim said that yeah no no yeah. no no i mean well yeah no i i did i trashed the room i trashed the room but um that's it, it, completely unrelated I, if anything I, I think you should be worried about tim T tim's definitely up to something okay all right i guess i was just a little bitter about all the other things that had been happening and um you know, I wanted to send a message to Tim that that's not okay. That, like, if, if, if he's going to do those kinds of things to me, then I can do those kinds of things right back. Hey, Jess, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. I, uh, it, we have this little problem here at City of Bridges that I, I need your opinion on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blaine and Tim are being so childish. Um, I don't know what they're what their problem is but something's clearly going on between the two of them and and it's getting in the way of teaching you know they they just sit there and they glare at each other and uh so i don't know like i'm not sure what to do about it i'm sorry <laughs> um well i guess first how serious do you think the problem is like on a scale of like you know, gentle millipede to like raccoon. How does it feel? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, what do you think we should do? Okay. Uh. Well, dance party. Huh. Yeah. Let Let's get a second opinion. Okay. Hello. Hey, Justin. Uh, it's Randy. Um, and Jess. Yeah, Jess, Jess is here too, uh, and we, we have a little bit of an issue here at school that I wanted to get your uh, your thoughts on. I, I, I'm not sure what's going on. Blaine and Tim are having some sort of issue. They're just staring at each other, and uh, I, I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, and I wanted to get... Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's childish. Um, you get your thoughts on, on how maybe we should address it. How do we address them staring at each other? And just, and being childish. I'm really glad that you called me about this, Randy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy to help you with this problem, and I think I really can give you some good insight into this. So uh, I, I just, I, I like to understand problems a little bit more than, like, I, I, need, to, I need some more information. So can you tell me, like, like how serious is it? Uh, uh, well, yeah, it's a, a little hard to say. Uh, okay, well then, like, can we put it on, like, a, like, so give me, like, a scale, like, okay, so, on a scale of, like, gentle millipede to angry raccoon, what would you say? Yeah, uh, what do you think we should do about it? Okay, okay, I'll... I've been in situations like this before, uh, and I'll tell you the thing that has helped the most in my life, and I, I would swear by this, I would tell my grandmother this. Mm. I would tell your grandmother this. 
uh, if you come into this problem, the thing that is really going to help you, you know what it is? Mm, what? To have a dance party. Okay. Uh, I I think it's just best if they take care of it themselves. I'm not surprised that Jess and I were on the same page. We are on the same page. We were like, like oil and water. No, 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 water and water. Very hydrating. <laughs> Uh, um, you know, I think it has something, I think it has something to do with our mutual love of silverware. Um, you know, that was a thing last year and the year before, you know, um, you know, stealing forks is a pastime of mine and we don't need to go into this right now. This is not therapy. <laughs> Blaine, have you seen the paper towels? Uh, so, yeah, uh, Tim, uh, I was thinking about everything that's been going on recently, you know, the, some of the stuff that I've been doing and kind of got a little out of hand and so uh, I, I guess I owe you an apology. Yeah. Well, I must admit that um, when it comes to the Brita pitcher in the kitchen, that, uh, you know, that was just a silly little prank that I thought would be funny to play on Blaine because I know it's sort of like his pet peeve. Um, but I didn't know he would get so upset with it that he would do something like what he did over in the classroom. I don't think I took it very far. In fact, I could go even farther. If I really had to, if someone really pushed me, I could go even farther. So just keep that in mind. Will I miss the beef between Blaine and Tim? Absolutely. Turns out I may have been behind, uh, you know, some of the stuff that was causing that conflict. It was all subconscious though. I feel mad about it, but not too bad. take this school very seriously. The work that we do here is the most important work that anyone can do. Uh, this is the future for these young people and every decision we make uh, is a serious decision. It is an important decision. It is a vital decision for their futures. Check out this new bubble machine I got, Randy. Hey! Leave that as one cool bubble machine. And I got all this bubble solution for only $5. Nice! Good deal. Good deal. Bubble machine, bubble machine. Everybody loves a bubble machine. It's not nice. It's not mean. It's just a bubble machine. <laughs>